Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to loom knit an easy scrubby. You'll need a 24 peg loom, a darning needle, scrubby yarn, scissors, your loom knit tool, a cotton yarn, and we're going to start by casting on. We're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to attach it on the anchor peg. You don't want to tie it too tight, but just enough that it's not going to give. Now we're going to start with the E-wrap cast on. So I'm going to take both pieces of yarn and start to the peg at the right of the anchor peg and just make little E's all the way around. We're going to do this the entire way around the loom. Again, this is called the E-wrap cast on. Very simple. Okay, we made it back to the anchor peg, so we're going to push our yarn down because now we're going to do another row of the E-wrap. So we want to make sure that first row is down because after we do the second row, we're going to knit over. So here we go, starting the second row of cast on. Okay, now we're going to take the bottom over the top. And this is called knitting over. We're just attaching our yarn to the loom. So we're going to go the entire way around the loom again. The scrubby yarn has little tiny eyelashes it looks like on it. Okay, we're almost done. Here's our anchor peg. So now we're going to push these stitches down. And after we do that, we're going to start our rows. Now we're going to do the E-wrap stitch. So we're going to start at the anchor peg again, and we're going to work our way around. For a bigger scrubby, you can do 16 rows. For an average size scrubby, you do about 14 rows. So you'll want to start counting. Now that you've cast it on, this will be row one. So go ahead and start your rows. Write them down or 
use a row counter. And again, an average size scrubby has about 14 rows. I'm making this one 16. I'm making it a little bit bigger. It's all in what you want. So I will meet you back here after you've done your rows. Okay, I want to show you, this is our last row, so we're going to finish the e-wrap stitch, and from there I will show you how you wrap up your scrubby. So we're going to go around the entire loom again until we meet back, and again this is our final row, and I will show you the next step. Now we're going to knit over this last row and then I will show you how to match your stitches. Okay, I've knitted over my last row and this is how it's looking. So what I'm going to do, you bring up the scrubby from the inside of the loom and we're going to match the stitches similar to doing the brim of a hat. So I will show you I like to start where my peg is, my anchor peg, and my slip knot. That to me is my pinpoint of where I'm starting. So that would be the very first peg that I did my first stitch on. So it's very easy once you start to grab. I like to take my loom tool and grab the next stitch and attach it. Like I said, it is very similar to the brim of a hat. And when you're actually working with the yarn, you can see it a little bit better, but you, can, you can't you can see it very well with the scrubby yarn, but with the cotton yarn, you can see it a little bit better. Um, okay, here. I'm trying to pick it out so it, it, it just goes down the line here as you can see there's the next one so and you have to be careful that you don't forget your scrubby yarn or that one falls off like that just happened So see it goes right down the line and I will come back to that other one that fell off. So see I'm just following down. That's an easier way for me to show you. And it just lines right up. And the hardest part about this is getting the scrubby yarn to go with it. but. It is pretty simple once you see how it goes. Let's see, there's our next one. So you will want to follow this way and attach all of the loops onto your pegs. Don't forget when you're doing this, the easiest way to figure out where you're at is by following that yarn, the cotton yarn. If you see the cotton yarn, the next loop, 
You just follow the seam and the scrubby yarn goes right with it. So just put the two together. We're almost done matching the loops and after we do that we are going to go to our next step. There's the last one. Now we're going to take our loom hook and knit over each one of these pegs that we just attached to the loom. So start at the anchor peg and work your way around just like we do with the E-wrap. We're attaching that middle portion and combining them together. We're knitting them together so it's going to be one piece. I forgot that one. Remember I said I was coming back to it. So there it is. Okay, now we are going to thread our darning needle. Now you want to have a darning needle that's big enough to put your thread in. So um, make sure the hole is big enough. So if you have one that's too small, it's not going to work. Okay, so make sure like I said, you have a big enough needle and that you may want to wet the ends or pinch them, something to make them because I had a little bit of trouble there. But Now we're going to start again with our anchor peg and we're going to take the needle into the first peg and go up and pull our working yarn. But before we start this, we're going to want to wrap your yarn around this loom one and a half times. So you'll want to take the scrubby and the cotton yarn and wrap it around one and a half times around the loom and then cut. You want to make sure you have enough that you're going to be able to go around the whole loom and that you're going to be able to sew the scrubby together at the end. So that's a very important step. 
go through each hole and I like to go up and take my yarn off of the peg. Seems to work out better for me personally that way. So I'm trying to give you a close-up view of what it looks like. Kind of looks like a mess, but it really, it, it really isn't. Um, it's just hard. It, it's different kind of yarn, this scrubby yarn. So it's it's real thin. And if you're not used to working with it, sometimes it does take a little bit of getting used to, but it's really not that difficult at all. So we are to our last peg. Now we're taking it off. Now we're going through our last loop and we're going to pull and tighten. So again, pull that working yarn. We're going to tighten and close that hole. So see, see it closing. And then we are going to sew that hole up. It may not close all the way for you, and that's okay. That doesn't mean it's wrong, doesn't mean anything's bad. You may have to close, you may have a little tiny hole, and that's okay. After you sew, you want to hide your loose ends, weave your loose ends in, and that'll wrap up your scrubby. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I appreciate you watching and thank you and I will see you on the next video.